Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my review and swatches of the Lime Crime Venus XL palette. If you guys want the timestamp of just the swatches, they're down below in the description box. But first off, I'm not going to make this long or really drag it out, but I definitely would not recommend this palette. I just did not like it. And excuse Graham, he's down here going to town on his bottle. So he's making a lot of noise. Um, but yeah, this palette just isn't worth it to me. Um, it does look very pretty. The packaging is the same, like Venus packaging, and it is gorgeous. And this has 18 shades, and it retails for $56. Whenever this palette launched, I don't know if this is just me, but I feel like it came out of nowhere. I don't follow Lime Crime Cosmetics on Snapchat or anything, but I feel like once this palette launched, that was just it. That was the first time I was ever hearing about it. Um, so when I saw it, it was kind of like the whole modern renaissance vibe where I was like, oh my gosh, those shades are gorgeous. I need to have it. But then I also looked at it, and I was like, oh, do I really need it? Like a compared to the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar. So it's just kind of up in the air. Um, so I decided to get it anyway because I posted on Snapchat and asked if you guys would want to see swatches and a review, things like that. And you guys said you did. So I ordered it when it first launched um, from the Ulta website. And it's just man to me. And the reason why I don't like it is the mattes are okay. They're decent. They kind of feel, they swatch very pigmented, but they feel very like waxy and they kind of skip on your eye. But some of them are okay. First time I ever used the palette, um, it was just like a natural day. I did a few of the colors. Like I just tried to come up with a look that I could just wear out to work. And I did not like the formula right off the bat. The shimmer shades feel waxy, like a plot on your eye, but they're really sheer. I don't know if that makes sense. I guess you'd have to touch it and feel it to know what I'm talking about, which some people love this palette. That's the crazy thing about makeup. Like some people like it or some people don't. So this is just my opinion. The formula was just super weird. So I tried it again and then I tried it one more time after that. And I have a more like bold tutorial using it. That's gonna go up on my channel. So I did see some swatches on Do That comparing the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar with the Lime Crime Venus XL. Um, some of the shades are similar, but they aren't exact. And I actually prefer the Jeffree Star as far as formula and the colors. And then also a lot of people comparing the Anastasia Mono Renaissance to this palette. So there are a few shades that are similar, like Love Letter compared to this like fuchsia shade right there. I can't see the name of it, but I would rather go with the Blood Sugar or the Modern Renaissance any day. The Modern Renaissance is one of my absolute favorite palettes. I also don't feel like I can get a lot of looks out of this. Now, yes, none of these shades are super similar or anything like that. But once I sit down to use it, I just don't feel like I can get a lot out of it, um, which is weird because, you know, it looks like there's a lot of different shades. So... I don't know. I just didn't really like it. I love Lime Crime's Liquid Lipsticks. Their original Venus was really good. I haven't tried the Venus too, but this one just fell flat for me. And I still have some of the swatches on my arm, which they're swatched a little bit crazy. Um, so basically, I don't like the formula. I don't like that. I personally don't think that there's a lot of versatility to this palette. Um, the shades go on a different color than what they look like in the pan and compared to when you swatch them. I don't know. This formula is just really off to me. So I hope that made sense because I kind of feel like it was just so straight to the point, like, you just have to get it, you get it, you know? Not really, and that doesn't make sense, but um, it just is not my favorite palette. But again, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you want to see the swatches using this Lime Crime Venus XL palette, then just keep watching. All right, my swatches are kind of crazy on my arm, and my fingernail broke off all the way down here, so I tried to cut it, but it looks a little bit ratchet. So anyway, we're gonna start with the first row, which stops here. So this shade is Eden, this is Love, Passion, Fresco, which is like the only shade I really love in this palette, um, Inspire, and then Idolize. So that is the first row right there. I don't know if you can tell, but these swatches just aren't like normal shimmers, and that's what bothers me so much about it. Moving on to the second row, which is really crazy. Um, this one is Aphrodite, this one is New Classic, Burnt Gold, Flora, Scallop, Celestial. It has like little gold flecks in it, kind of like Fresco. Moving on to the very last row. The first time I ever used this palette, it was actually Ethereal that I realized the formula was terrible on. So this is Ethereal right there. This is Triumph, which is a gorgeous shade. This one is Supreme. This is Blank Canvas, which I built up two times. And this one is Botticelli. Botticelli, I don't know how to say that. Um, and then the last one is Goddess. So these are the swatches, the palette, the mattes are nice. Sometimes they can be a little bit patchy, but the shimmers are definitely a huge miss. 